Hello folks, this is St. Chad, otherwise known as Chris Stanwick in the world of E-Republic. Currently the Secretary of Education of the United States. So this is a tutorial on how to get involved in E-Republic. Uh, geared towards new players who are just starting E-Republic for the first time. If you are stumbling across this video and you're not already a member of the world of E-Republic, then there will be a link in the description below to join. So, when you first join eRepublic and you've chosen your name, you've put in all your information, you've chosen where you want to live. Now, this is assuming that you're a citizen of the United States. Then you will see this screen here. This is the home screen. You'll see up at the top there will always be some kind of challenge. It won't always be the spring challenge. Uh, but it will be a progress bar and a countdown timer. Every week it resets. As you fight and earn prestige points, you will be uh, collecting rewards. You will also see over here in the left your profile picture once you set one up, uh, your me message button, your alerts button, and the le leaderboard button, your experience bar, your energy level. Now, everything in-game requires energy. Working, training, fighting, and you restore that by eating food, or energy bars, or at the moment, carrots. But you recover energy slowly. Uh, normally, actually I don't know what the base rate is, <laughs> but uh, you do recover energy slowly. Every six minutes, you recover a certain amount of energy. And there are buffs. By earning rewards in the weekly challenge, you gain these plus one energy recovery. By having a house, you earn an additional plus two energy recovery. And there are other ways of perking up your energy recovery. So once you've recovered some energy, as long as you have food, you can click this button and your energy bar will increase. It also shows your state of residence, the amount of gold and um, country currency you have, and the missions that you have active. You also have the articles. You can ha choose either the latest articles or the top articles, and by using this you can set it to any country that you want. Right below that are your campaigns. Now, it shows some of the U.S. campaigns up at the top because I'm a, a citizen of the U.S. Uh, and then also ally campaigns. And if you go into military campaigns, it will show all of them. And you can change your filters. For instance, I very much recommend, especially for new players, to fight only in aircraft battles. The reason behind, well, that's not true. While you're doing your missions, your early missions, go ahead and fight in some ground battles to satisfy them but then switch to aircraft battles. Your strength is going to be low. You gain strength slowly. So you can filter out the ground battles, and these are just battles that you fight with aircraft. And then also choose my location. That tells you battles that you can actually fight in without moving. The big one, Thailand is currently invading Arizona. But there are also two ally battles that you can fight in. So let's go back to home. On the right hand side you will see your news feed. And there are several tabs. There's the national news feed. These are official messages from members of the government. You have your friends, anybody you friend in game, which is very easy and I will show you how to do that. When they post something, you'll see it here. Your military unit. So these are official messages from your military unit and also messages by other members of your military unit. And then your political party. Anything posted within here uh, from members of your political party. Okay, so let's look at your profile real quick. Okay, when you pull up your profile, you, sh you see all these different achievements that you can earn by doing various things in game. You see your location, your citizenship, your birthday, uh, your national rank, uh, your political party, 
your military unit, you can have a newspaper. The city that you're a resident of. I'm a resident of Nevada, so Carson City. Shows your military attributes. Now there's ground and air combat. Ground is based on your strength. You earn strength every day by training. And then your military rank. Uh, rank. You gradually level this up as you fight. For air, air combat, perception has not yet been implemented. So it literally is just your rank. It's dependent on your rank. Every time you gain a new rank, you gain 5% combat effectiveness so you want to level up your rank don't worry about uh, well you don't have to worry about strength for this you definitely want to train every day to gain strength you can see your decorations every million damage you get a true patriot medal which is this one right here so it will show you the amount of damage that you've done and your progress towards that to a true patriot model or uh, metal <laughs> and you can also see the top damage that you have done in a campaign I'm not a very strong fighter so mine is just slightly over a million there are players who can deal a million damage with one hit uh, your gorilla fight history this is a not a very well used um, game mechanic that I won't go into here uh, but then it also shows the mass destruction weapons that you've used recently. Uh, yes, you can use weapons of mass destruction. You also have your friends list. So anybody you friend will show up in this list. Okay, so let's go back to your homepage. And we'll go to my places, which is the very first tab up at the top. Your residence will simply take you to the city and state that you reside in. Now you choose this when you first start the game. Most people choose their home state, just out of habit. But you can live anywhere in the United States. You can live anywhere in the world. And you, well, and you can live in a state that you're not actually a resident of. The benefit of uh, being a resident is that you get bonuses you get a bonus of plus two energy every six minutes and plus 50 to your energy pool by being a resident of a region because they have parks. If you have a house, it will show your bonus here. Um, it will also show your house durability bonus. You will see the uh, production bonuses for your region and that will come into the economy tab. Uh, the tax rates how many people reside in this region and the last time it was liberated hopefully <laughs> hopefully this stays the same we're currently being invaded right now and uh, I, I, I don't want to be occupied okay so the next one is your companies this is the economy module you can choose to have a job by going to the marketplace the job market and this will be part of the tutorial too getting a job so you can choose if you do not currently have a job you'll be able to accept a job over here in the right hand corner back to the companies if you have a house you'll be able to work overtime by gaining these points overtime points you gain one per hour per house and then you will see your companies you can work in your companies as a manager you need raw resource companies to produce the raw resources. Food raw materials, weapon raw materials, and those go to supply your production companies, your food companies, your weapons companies, which produce some food and weapons. <laughs> and you will pay taxes for working, even for yourself. You will pay taxes when you work at your job. This goes to benefit the United States. This is basically what is paying for the wars. Okay, so let's go to the next step. Your training grounds, which is also found under here. There are four types of training grounds. This top one is always free. 
Now, at first you're going to have a one star, which will give you plus five strength every time you train. You can upgrade it. And then simply click train. It will take some energy. Just like working will take some energy. Working at your job takes 10 energy. Working at your companies takes 10 energy each company. So work every day, train every day. Then you'll see your storage. This is where all the things that you produce, all the things that you obtain are kept. Raw materials take up a lot of room. You don't necessarily, unless you're planning on selling raw materials, you don't necessarily want to keep those very high. Okay, and we won't go into advanced buildings right now because as a new player, you probably will not be looking at those. Okay, so that is my places. Let's look at the community. The first tab is my country. My country shows you everything about the country that you live in, in this case, the United States. It shows you the society, it tells you how many active citizens there are currently of the United States, how many new citizens, citizenship requests. So basically people from other countries wanting to move and become a citizen of the United States. The average level of the citizens and who is online now. It also shows you every state in the union. We do not have 50 at the moment. We have 31 because we are currently being attacked by seven other countries and they've conquered a few of our regions. We need your help. We need your help to liberate them. You'll also see the economy, how much money we have in our currency and tax revenue. So, which for some reason is not loading in. But it also shows our national bonuses. Re, uh, if you live in Nevada, you get plus 25% bonus to food production of grain farms, 10% to fish hatcheries, and so on and so forth. We used to have every single resource available. Because of the invasion, we are lacking a few now. We have a trade embargo with Serbia, and you see the tax rates for working in these various companies, the import tax rate, and the value added tax rate. And then the minimum and average salary in the United States right now. Politics tab. This shows you who the President of the United States is, along with the members of the executive branch of the government and the makeup of Congress. So only the top five parties are able to run candidates for Congress. And you can see the election results by clicking this and it will show you who all is a member of Congress. Okay. Let's go back to my country and go to the military tab. This shows who we have set as our natural enemy. In this case, Croatia. We get a plus 10 war influence bonus with them, against them. Uh, and they are one of the nations currently invading us, hence why they are our natural enemy. Um, most of this does not pertain to, uh, to most players. And then active wars in the United States. As you can see, we are currently being invaded by a lot of different countries. The top seven are countries that are invading us directly. The next 16 are attacks against our allies. And then we have several active resistant wars currently going on in the US. And then finally, our mutual protection packs. These are our allies. And then finally, administration. Unless you're a member of Congress, this doesn't apply to you much, except the fact that these laws will pertain. But this is primarily for members of Congress. 
Okay, let's go to your military unit. So when you join, you select a military unit. I'm a member of Easy Company, which is probably the largest uh, military unit in the United States right now. You can see your chain of command. You can see here what regiment that you are a member of. And then there are different statistics. But the important part for a newer player is the deployment. This will show you your, your military commanders will set deployments. This tells you where to fight. Keep an eye on those. And then once you reach a high enough level, easily obtainable on the first day, you'll be able to join a political party, in which case you'll be able to choose my party. I'm a member of the Constitution Party. What the, uh, what the party page shows is who the party president is, the rank of the party, the party officials, the members of the party, the orientation, which really is is role play. This very rarely means anything. Uh, this right here, the info, will give you basically the party's platform. And then the elections. There's three types of elections in game. There's party president elections, there's congressional elections, and there's president elections. Presidential elections took place on the 5th. Why do I bother to become the new president of the United States? He, for, he really took office today on April 7th. My newspaper. If you choose to set up a newspaper, which costs two gold to set up, then you will be able to post articles. Whoop, it jumped. You'll be able to post articles which will appear on the home page in the article feed. You can write whatever you want in your newspaper, but the best newspapers typically have something to do with game mechanics or current events, battle analysis, etc. Okay, so really the next and uh, the, the only other important part of this is elections. So on election days, the 5th, 15th, or 25th of every month, you'll be able to vote in an election if you are a high enough level. So the next election coming up is the party president election. Right now it's showing me the results of the last election because we're not currently having an election. But that will be where you go to vote. That is the basic setup of the different places that you should go in game. By completing your missions in the tutorial, you'll gain some food companies, you'll gain some, a weapons company. So make sure that you're doing your missions. I'm still work. I've been a citizen of eRepublic since 2009, and I'm still working on missions, uh, simply because I stepped away and came back. So if you have any questions on the very basics Actually, I did forget one. Let's fight in a battle. So let's go to our military campaigns. I want to fight in an air battle. Let's filter out everything but air battles. And we have a battle right here with in Arizona. I'm going to fight. So this is the battle screen. There are multiple parts to a battle. Right now, we are in the aircraft part of the battle, but there are also four division battles. Those are ground battles. Thailand is very much winning this campaign. So they only need six more points to win this battle. And for some reason we have an American citizen fighting on the wrong side. Fighting for... Hmm. All right. Well, that's that's not good. Make sure that you're on the right side of the battle. Make sure you're fighting for the United States and not against the United States. If you were a citizen of Arizona and which is now being occupied or a citizen of a state that is now occupied by Thailand and you click fight in this battle, you will be fighting as a citizen of Thailand even though you're still a US citizen. So be very careful with that. Make sure you're fighting for the right side. All right, and just as an example, I'm going to go ahead and fight 
Not that, uh, unfortunately, we can't win this campaign. They're going to take Arizona. But as an example, so all you do is click fight. If you're doing this for the first time, you'll get a pop-up that breaks down what happens. So when you fight, you'll see the damage increase. You'll see rank points increase. You'll see up here, prestige points increase. And what you won't see but, but will happen is you earn experience points at the same rate as prestige points. So you fight a couple of times and I'll fight down to show you what happens. You can only fight, notice my energy is decreasing every time I fight. For each fight, it decreases, oh well, for each hit, it decreases by 10 energy points. Now, sometimes it takes more than one hit to defeat an enemy. In air battles, I've noticed it takes between two and four. So my energy is decreasing. And when we get down, To less than 10 it says energy restore needed I have to restore energy to fight more if you have food and energy recovery you can consume food to restore energy if you don't and I'm gonna go ahead and waste some food to do that if you have energy bars it will allow you to consume an energy bar which will give you 100 energy so let me click that and now I have 136 energy which enables me to fight slightly longer all right so that is how to fight and notice I earned enough prestige points to get the next reward so I earned some quality 5 moving tickets and my experience went up. So those are the basics of the game. There are four modules. You basically have your military module, your economics module, your political module, and the media module. You don't have to do all of them. A lot of people don't do the media module. Unfortunately the media you don't get a whole lot of new articles every day. You get some and we have some very good writers, but not everybody does it. You don't get everybody participating in the political module. If you don't like politics, then it might not be for you. I still suggest you join a political party, but you don't have to run for Congress. You don't have to run for uh, party president. You don't have to get involved in the party just because you're a member. Uh, but most people do get involved in the economic and the military module. If you have any questions at all, or you need any help, please contact me. Once again, Chris Stanwick in game. Make sure you add me as a friend. Which here, let me click on. Uh, let me click on somebody. Uh, I don't know that I am a friend of RF Williams I am not it's simple you go to the person's profile page and you click add as friend and that is all there is to it right next to it is send message so if you need any help send me a message and friend me I will be more than happy to help you out once again if you are reaching this article or this video and you are not already a citizen of the e-world then there will be a link to join in the description below. Welcome to eRepublic. Welcome to the EUSA.